What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for PlayPicks.com, TheLines.com. Going to talk to you a little bit about the college basketball tournament, March Madness. And we are going to talk about how you can make bets here for March Madness. If you're new to kind of this whole thing, of course, a lot of people, betting's a new thing in your jurisdiction. So how all how are the different ways that you can make bets for March Madness? We'll take a look at that for this. Of course, guys, please like the video, subscribe to the page while you're here. Uh, First things you're going to do is you're going to go to playpicks.com and you are going to go to playpicks.com forward slash bonus. It will take you to this page right here. When you take a look at this page right here, guys, what you're going to get is the very best sports book offers that you're going to find on the internet. So this is where you'll get your $25 free at uh, at, uh, DraftKings Sportsbook. You'll get your $500 risk-free bet at BetStars. You'll get a $500 risk-free bet at FanDuel as well. So certainly something that you want to take advantage of so be sure and head there of course you can then head over to the lines if you want to uh, where the states are legal where you can bet different things like that is uh, available over here over in new jersey of course all the reviews of the sports books there you got terminology here betting uh, the frequently asked questions if you need to know anything about that as well of course we've got a podcast and there's dfs stuff and odds tracker and all that so be sure and head over to the lines as well all right, let's get over here to uh, DraftKings. We'll talk about the first way that you can bet the NCAA tournament. And this is something that has to happen before the tournament starts. Well, they'll, they'll update the odds as it goes. But uh, as we see on the screen right now, this is something that will happen before the tournament actually begins. And that is just the outright winner to win it all here. So you'll see Team Futures. And this is going to be just the odds for these various teams to win this thing outright. Duke. At two to one plus two hundred, uh, as we see on the screen right here, if you came down and you wanted, you know, Kentucky getting plus twelve hundred or twelve to one there again. This is a bet you place before the tournament gets started. Should Kentucky go on to win the uh, win the whole thing, then you would win twelve to one on whatever money that you got. You can do the same thing at Bet Stars. You can see here NCAA championship winner. So they've got all their odds over here. And then at FanDuel, what you'll do is you'll click on the CBB. Come over here and CBB Tournament and then click Champion and you'll see all of their futures as well. A little bit better odds over here on Duke. Um, Some of these other teams as well. Kentucky a little bit longer shot if that's what you're looking for as well. Um, The second way that you are going to be able to uh, bet on the NCAA Tournament is you're going to be able to bet just on the, the regions as well. So, I mean, if we go over here, you can click on the regions tab. Uh, at FanDuel and so this is very similar to the outright winner where we're going to be able to bet and whatever team wins at all this on the other hand is going to be just in the region so you'll see right here Midwest region South region East region West region you know how the brackets are broken up into four little pieces like that and you are betting who is going to come out of each out of each quadrant of the bracket so you see Kentucky a much shorter number here than to win the whole thing where we saw that they were plus 1700 here on um where they were plus 1,700 here on uh, FanDuel as far as winning it all, to come out of the region just plus 250. So you could do this for any of the regions here, the south, the east, um, just another way that you can bet. If you don't want to bet on someone winning the whole thing, you can bet on them just making it out of their bracket and into the final four. One of the, uh, obviously, one of the ways that most people are going to be betting the March Madness It's just on the individual games. And so as you see right here, we're clicking game lines and they just have uh, over here at DraftKings just tons and tons of the games here. Uh, One of the ways you can bet, of course, just the point spread betting. If you're not familiar with point spread betting, go to the lines.com. You can get a full uh, you can get a full breakdown of how that works. But again, very, very simple. Whenever you really get down to it, the minus is the favorite in the game. The plus is the underdog in the game. The minus has to win the game by that amount of points right there. The underdog can lose the game by up to that amount of points. And uh, as long as you have your bet placed on the proper side of that, that's how you go about winning. You can also place a points bet here, uh, a total bet on the uh, March Madness. You can see in this Belmont Temple game, we're looking at a 155 over under here. Uh, How this works, if you're not familiar, the O being the over, the U being the under here, 155 points, total points combined scored in the game between Belmont and Temple. If you bet the over, you're going to want 156 points scored. If you bet the under, you're going to want 154 points scored. 
and you would win uh, depending on how many total points between the two teams added together. And then, of course, money line bets is another uh, way a lot of people will be betting. Some of these closer games, you can see these closer spreads here. Uh, only a one-point spread here, so the money lines are pretty close. You can see whenever we get to like a five-point spread in this North Carolina Central North Dakota State type game, then you see these money lines start to open up. But uh, money line, again, if you don't know this, head to the lines. We have a video and we have a full write-up on that. However, uh, real quick, uh, again, minus is the favorite, plus is the underdog. The minus number is how much you would have to bet to win $100. So in this particular case, if you wanted to bet on Belmont, you'd have to bet $167 to win $100. If you were betting on the underdog, the plus is how much money you would get back on your $100 bet. So your $100 bet, if you bet on Temple and they were to win the game outright, you would get $143 returned on your $100. So $243 total, your original $100, and then your $143. On top of that, again, guys, Moneyline is just the straight up winner. Doesn't have to win by any certain amount of points. So uh, it, you see that the spread's three and a half where you would need Belmont to win by four points in this game if you bet on them on the spread. If you bet them on the money line at minus 167, you put your 167 down to win 100. All they have to do is win the game straight up. So even if they win by a free throw at the end of the game, you still win your bet. One of the other ways that uh, you can bet on March Madness as well is props. So you'll see right here uh, over on FanDuel Sportsbook, which seed will, you know, which seed will win the tournament. So you can bet on whether a one seed or a two seed or a three seed, uh, stuff like that. You can look right here, number of number one seeds in the final four. So you can try and figure out which one of the number one, you know, which one of the numbers one seeds, how many of those will make it in. You can bet none will make it in the final four plus 650. They have a whole bunch of Duke bets. Of course, Duke being the uh, overwhelming betting favorite here in this tournament. So uh, lots of bets tied around Duke uh, there as well. You can see right here, uh, game props as well, a uh, different way that you can bet on March Madness here on DraftKings Sportsbook. So you can see, I mean, they're just talking about, you know, results of all kinds of different ways that you can bet this thing here. Um, result at the end of the second half, you can have, you know, a tie. You can get huge odds with, with, with ties and things like that. Uh, if you want to, you can, you know, will a game go to overtime? So all kinds of just these will or won't props are available there. And even just weird stuff like, you know, will the final score be odd or even really just kind of a coin flip, but gives you an extra way to have some um, skin in the game, if you will. And then they have team props as well. So you can come over here and you can see uh, um, individual scores, individual things like that uh, inv available in uh, each one of these games. So just tons and tons of bets available all over the place here. I mean, if you, if you go over here to uh, if you go over here to Bet stars as well. You can see. I mean, just you click on the uh, click on the basketball tab there, NCAA championship, and they'll have tons of different bets that you can get going over there as well. Guys, as always, again, just uh, please like the video, hit subscribe as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the in the uh, comment section below. We will certainly answer those as soon as humanly possible. Uh, head to playpicks.com forward slash bonus. It'll take you to this page right here where you can get all of our various sign-up offers over there in New Jersey. And of course, go to the lines for all of the industry news that's going on. And of course, you can take a look at all of the betting frequently asked questions, the podcast that we've got going on, and any of the state pages if you're kind of wondering where your state sits as far as legalization for sports betting. We will be back lots for tons of March Madness videos, guys. So please stick to the channel right here. We'll see you 